Good evening and thank you for being with us. Bernard Brown, the former boyfriend of the missing Maui woman, Marrera Monsalve, is waiting extradition after being indicted by a grand jury for her murder. Monsalve was last seen at Brown's home in Wailuku in January 2014. Her body has never been found and attorneys say murder trials with nobody are hard to prove. Nikki Schenfeld has... That's right, Sam. Prosecutors tell me murder trials with no body has only been heard a handful of times here in Hawaii, but Monsalve's family says they're ready for the long trial and the long road ahead. After her mother vanished more than five years ago, Alexis Felicilda says she believed Bernard Brown had something to do with her disappearance. Even when you break down and, you know, the purse was found in the dumpster next to the house, and when we first received the cell phone data, I mean, logically... Everything was pointed to him. She tells me Brown moved back to California three weeks after Monsalve went missing and that two new detectives started to help in the case, which led to his arrest. They took what Satterfield had and that's where they tried to create the complete picture and the complete case, the timeline and, and putting everything together. They worked, you know, really, really hard to build this case. He had no idea this was coming, right? No. And that was the whole point. We, we wanted him to think that he got away with it. Then, late yesterday afternoon, Brown was indicted by a Maui grand jury for the murder of Monsalve. He's being held on $1 million bail in Sacramento and will be extradited back to Maui. The fact that they have an arrest warrant and that they're, they're ready to bring him back to extradite him means that Maui police was able to, in fact, gather enough evidence to prove, at least by probable cause, that this is the person that committed the crime. Kao says it's difficult to try a case without a body. The last time it happened was in 2007, when Kirk Langford was found guilty of the murder of Japanese citizen Masubi Watanabe. It was a very difficult case to prove for the government because there was no body. And so you have to basically explain to the jury, this is what we believed happened at this point from A to B to C, and you have to really spell everything out. Felicilda knows it will be a long road ahead. It's never going to end. So, you know, in some sense, yes, like it's closure, but it's just the beginning for the rest of our lives that we're going to be dealing with this. And the FBI is the lead in the case. The courts are closed over the weekend, so we'll follow up on when Brown is extradited back to Maui. Sam. Thank you. Thank you. Board of Water Supply crews are repairing.